Hello again, and welcome to Let's Play Anvil of Dawn. This is episode 11, and thanks for dropping by. We're standing at the top of a staircase, having been not entirely defeated, but certainly beaten back from the third level uh, of this tower. We figure that maybe downstairs will give us a little less resistance for now, and maybe more opportunity to level up to meet the challenges of what we know is in store further up. Oh. Okay, that has a blue icon, and a blue icon does not mean monster, it means NPC. Let's go and say hi. You look as if you might speak. Even so. You must be able to move as well. Might I get by you? No. Okay, short and to the point. Will I have to fight you? No. Your weapons and spells are nothing to me, and I shall not move. Stubborn beast. What loyalty keeps you here? Loyal? Not I. I was summoned and must guard. Who summoned you? The mage of this place brought me forth ages ago, it seems. If I could, I would return, but I cannot, and you cannot pass. I'll help. How can I send you home? I cannot say. The nature of the summons prevents me. I am searching for a mage, perhaps he who summoned you. The mage of the Dark Lantern. He is about, I am certain. Shall you slay him? Will his death free you? His summons holds me here. His death would but please me. The means to unsummon you must exist within the Dark Lantern. I cannot say, but if I could, I would smile. You smile, or something, and I'll look around. Look well. Look well. Hmm. <laughs> I enjoyed the conversations in this game. That one was not particularly great uh, in the voice acting department, but 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 they're never written in a perfunctory fashion. I like that. Okay, we got a rolling boulder there. Is it coming back? Yeah. Okay, so there's a long window there. Enough time to move off to the side. Hmm. Can see through that wall somehow. Right, let's pop over the other side. There's a switch. There's a block figurine. Let's give the switch a go. Whoa! Nope, that was a switch of... Hit me in the face with a trap. Oh no, 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 it isn't actually. It's opened up the other end of that dead-end corridor, but there's something there that is, that is, uh, that is firing a trap at me. Uh, it looks as though, in fact, not a trap, it looks as though it may be a monster. Okay, um, if we can just move that, wait for that uh, boulder to roll out that way. Let's follow it down there, off to the side. There we go. What's down here? Whoa! Okay, we just got hit in the face by a dragon. Let's try this new upgraded spell. This place is starting to feel quite dangerous. It looks as though there are quite a lot of traps and enemies down here in the basement, but it's better than taking our chances with that tornado so far. Or whatever it might be. Oh, that was a fist in the face. Uh, 
There's a door there that keeps opening and closing. Alright, next time. There we go. Let's hear... Oh, no, 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 no. There's another dragon down here. And it's hitting us regardless of the fact that this healing spell is is activated. Um, okay. Still, we're doing okay. Let's hit with the skull. I haven't noticed a huge difference with this uh, with this skull spell from from last time. Uh, now that we've put an extra point into magic, to be honest with you. Right. Let's hit that thing wherever it is. Oh, come on. Where is it? There. Oh, okay. Now that was a one hit. Okay. No, I'll, 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 I've got to give it that. That was that was much better. We've never one hit one before. I'm fist figurine. Nothing else there. We had to look for those flickering walls because those are false walls. There was another one. Oops. Just to the right here. What's in there? Another chest. Another iron fist. So there's another secret door down the end here as well. Because something is flickering. Actually, two secret doors, one on either side. Let's just heal. Let's just wait for the healing animation to play out. Another chest. Potion of healing, Iron Fist figurine. We're getting a lot of those. And then in here. Yes, another chest with another Iron Fist figurine. What a magnificent surprise it is. Must be Christmas. Okay, so uh, we are in the catacombs, by the way. That's what it says on the map. We are not in some basement or a cellar or a dungeon. We are in catacombs. Let's just save our progress. Have we been that way? No, we haven't. There's another side door here. Iron Fist figurine, perhaps? Yeah. Um, I don't think I've overlooked any flickering walls, have I? No, I think that's probably the last. Hmm, Elixir of Fire Resistance. Well, resistances are good, but I'd rather have, like, some whirlwind resistance, or whatever that thing is up on the, up on the higher level that we can get through. Alright, we've got to avoid... Let's just save. We've got to avoid the fist that's coming down from east to west in this corridor here, somehow. Or, if not avoid it, at least be able to withstand it. So, right, okay, so it just exploded. Let's go down there, dodge off to the side, wait for it to pass. Okay, where can we go now? That way. And that's a locked door. Oh dear. That. Okay. So we've got a pressure plate there, a door there, pressure plate here, and then a switch. A switch we can't actually activate. Hmm, curious. But we do have a pressure plate here that does... I don't even know what. Could have opened the door. Right, let's wait for the, for the fist. See, that is a dead end. We do have rocks, so let's try and weigh down the pressure plate. All right, so rocks and other miscellaneous stuff. Not enough. Let's 
Some of these useless iron fist figurines, maybe. Still haven't done it. Well, I don't know how much weight this needs. I think we left a lot of it. I think that we uh, left a lot of our uh, weight capacity further up in the tower. We'll keep the key on us. We don't want to lose that thing. Uh, Alright, it seems just uh, unless it's just about to trigger, it seems our carrying capacity here is my our entire spare inventory is not heavy enough to weigh this thing down. There are those. Those could potentially do it. No. So there's no point. We can pick all that stuff back up again. Because whatever we do, we can't trigger with the things that we have on us. That pressure plate. We can only do it with um, by standing on it, it seems. So, we'll have to come back to, th to that one for later, but there is another pressure plate just here. And there is an effect of that which is yet to be determined, so let's drop a boulder, a spear, a crossbow. I assume the different pressure plates have different activation weights, which is why I'm trying this one in the hope that we can do this one. But well, I don't know that for certain. It could be that this is, this one is just going to have exactly the same problem. In fact, the more stuff we pile on without the, that grinding sound, the more certain that gets. No, doesn't look like it. Okay. So there's a door we can't get through that is probably activated with some combination of these two pressure plates, one or the other. There's... what else? There's an NPC we can't get past. It looks as though our next move is going to be to attack this monster up here. Let's wait for the fist. Let's not run into the fist from the back. Right, there's a rock going back and forth that way, isn't there? We need to be careful. Oh no, actually, there isn't. We just need to... that just goes around a little V there. And then we can follow that. As it rolls forward, we're not in any danger from it. And then, oh, what the heck is that? There's a huge monolith with flames in it that apparently is an enemy that we can attack. And let's see, this is obviously going to take quite a bit more. It seems that our upgraded lightning magic is, is also draining our mana faster, which makes sense, I suppose. But it doesn't mean we have traded our killing power a little bit. Oh, that was nice. There we go. Looks like we have an Iron Fist figurine and a potion of healing in there. Potion of healing, magia plant in there, but it looks as though there's more stuff in, in here to discover as well. There is a crate that we can't do much with. A pressure plate. Another chest with a book of summons. Now, what is that? Just as light, wow, here we are. In this passage, we shall describe an elemental of particular fascination to the experienced mage, the stone guardian or gargoyle. Two items are required for summoning the creature, a glass lamp of life essence and a horn of summons. The glass lamp imprisons the beast's life energy, preventing it from returning to its native plane. To unsummon, hold the horn in one hand and the lamp in the other. Use the horn. 
the lamp will shatter, allowing the... How do we page forward? <laughs> well, that's kind of annoying. I have no idea how to page forward here. There's no icon and everywhere I left click, it seems to... Maybe that's all there is. Well, we get the message anyway. That's how we uh, unsummon... Uh, that's apparently how we unsummon that gargoyle. Oh, hello. By the magic here, your first use takes you there, but elsewhere next, as sure as there again. By the magic well, here, your first use that's pretty cryptic. Takes you there, but elsewhere next, as sure as there again. I don't know what that's talking about. I guess it'll become clear. Let's try and remember that. Um, what's there? Are oh, we already looked in that chest? Is there a thing there? There's elixir of heroic rage and a potion of healing there. And up here, looks like we got a dragon. Oh no, we got another one of these things. Oh, that's not so good. We're quite low on health. No, 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 don't, 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 no, 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 no. All right, can we use one of those? Yep. And let's use a magia plant as well. Even though they just really only inch uh, uh, spell points forward slightly, we're going to need all the help we can get because we are running quite low. We're burning off mana pretty fast with these skull spells now, even though they're a little more potent than they were before. Oh, come on. Another one. Right, there we go. Uh, okay, so there's a rock here, or a boulder, or two, or three, that are definitely going to be helpful in weighing down some more of those pressure plates that we found. And it looks as though somewhere down the end of this corridor there's either, well, I assume it's going to be one of those monolith things. Uh, we're really encumbered. Okay, so let's head back along here and try the first pressure plate we come to, which is just over here. Maybe we have the activation weight to be able to do something with this and we can see what it does. Not enough yet. Another 10. There we go. Now, what did that do? Ah, okay, so it's created a teleporter. Now, let's take a look at what that uh, thing said to us. The magic here, your, your first use takes you there, here. but elsewhere That's next, as sure as there again. Sure so it looks as though the, again. potentially the destination that this is gonna send us will vary. Where are we? Oh, okay, we are right at that thing where we really don't want to be. Okay. I think we find it very tricky at this point to take that thing out, so... Ah, oh, damn it. Alright, restore, we're not going to go through there. So let's give, let's give this a try. We go in, we run away immediately. We go back to the teleporter and see where it takes us. Aha, behind. Oh. Well, it seems going that way. Uh, it seems the thing can fire at us from both directions, but we can go this way. Ah, Book of Shells. What would that be? In order to use the seashell of summoning, one must face a source of water, such as the lake or the sea, before using the shell. Water sprites and elementals of all sorts can be summoned in this way, some weak, some powerful. Sometimes the summons is answered and sometimes not. Sometimes it takes several tries. Sometimes it works upon the first attempt. 
Yeah, okay. Was that a new spell that we just learned? Um, I, I don't know. We now have a couple of uh, books here and I don't know how or when we use them. All right, slightly tricky problem now because we are now stuck in this corridor with no way out, but to find and defeat that whatever's a, a waiting around the corner here. And that might be difficult. Um, so let's see. Where is... Yeah, okay. So we don't have a lot of this uh, Magia stuff. And it doesn't do a lot of good, to be honest. It just makes really marginal difference to our spell points. But we're probably going to need it. We do have other things like this Iron Fist figurine. That will cast uh, a fist. I... I think we'll, we'll we'll try one of those. Let's see if we use that. Oh, we must use it on the gaming screen. Okay. Well, that just lobbed it. That was not the ideal outcome. <laughs> I don't quite know how we're supposed to use that. Okay, one more of those skulls, we might be okay. There we go. And we'll put that back in our pocket. Scroll of Shackles of Ice. Okay, where is it? What does it say? By means of this spell, you can hold an opponent in place for a limited time. When cast a swirling maelstrom of frozen air circles before you, then rushes forward toward its target. A creature struck by shackles of ice freezes to blue and is immobilized for a time. Some creatures born of fire or other powerful beasts may prove resistant to the effects of this spell. We now have five spells. Alright, so I feel we are making some progress here. I still have no idea, however, how to get past that bloody tornado. But I think the next thing to do is probably to pick up these rocks again. To go down um, past the boulder, past the flying fist, and try and activate some of these pressure plates over there. I think we now probably have enough weight to do it, and which means we can get through this door here. And then hopefully we can find whatever we need on the other side to dispel the summoning of the gargoyle. That's the plan anyway, but I have no idea how it's going to turn out. That's the joy of a blind playthrough. Thank you for dropping by and watching another episode of Let's Play Anvil of Dawn. I'll see you next time for episode 12.